The Daily Coast, Huffington Post have all cheap shotted Mr. Beck recently. Stephen Colbert also weighed in. If I may speak to Glenn directly for a moment, dude, you are rocking it. I know some people say you're an unstable individual, and to give you a public forum is grossly irresponsible. But remember, they crucified Jesus. Crank up the crazy and rip off the knob. But it's now the man of the hour, survivalist, yes. Glenn Beck. Yes, that's You me. know, I think I've been harder on you than those pinheads have been. Yeah, well, Stephen Colbert, let me just say this to Stephen. Pull it. Can you pull the camera in? Stephen, I just want to talk directly to you. What you don't know is you're absolutely right. I'm nuts. <laughs> and he has a weapon, uh, Colbert. <laughs> it's okay. And your address. Um, it's... Um, you know, we, we have fun with this, but as I said in a talking point, remember when we talked with Carl Rove early in the program, this is a very well-organized machine, this oh, yeah. left-wing, sh and they're, they're going to try to hurt you as much as they can hurt you. Yeah, they're going to they're they're dig up, now you've been very candid about your past and all of that, but they're going to they're dig up exactly uh, what you've done in your life. They're going to tell people where you live. Uh, they're going to tell people about your, your children. They're going to do everything on earth to hurt you as much as they can, the left-wing you know smear merchants. But wait, wait for, first thing, you get, how does that make you feel, though? If you'd asked me that on any other day but today, because um, this say, is Back Friday, we'll get yeah, into that in a minute. Yeah. But uh, if you asked me any other day but today, I would say um, sad. But I know that there are more of us than there are of them. That's for sure. I There's know no that doubt. there are more sane people than there are crazy people. Um, and you know, when did we come to a place in our country? I mean, I. I defended the crazy uh, nuts in, in, uh, uh, in during you know the build up to the war and said, "Please, America, it is not un-American to speak out against the war. It is not un-American to question your government. Please stop calling the Hollywood crazies uh, un-American. They're not. That is American." When did we come to this place to where we have to truly tear each other apart in that sort of way, where we're coming and targeting each other's children, et cetera, et cetera, because you just can't win an argument? Well, you worked at CNN, and they don't do that at CNN. It's a left-wing operation over there. And it's interesting because when Beck worked at CNN, you did okay in the ratings, mm -hmm. but now you're doing ten times better oh, in the yeah. ratings because there's a traditional audience here that's much more receptive to your message than the liberal audience at CNN. But CNN doesn't traffic in hate. No. They've got a couple of guys that do, but very rare. NBC News, that's hate all day long over there. Okay, yeah, I'm, That's I'm, a dangerous operation. But you say that you understand them and and you know what they're after but does it get you angry do you do, do you react emotionally to what I do you see i do i get I, angry yeah sometimes i sometimes i do but i try not to i mean i i'm i actually um, I, I find it pathetic. I really find it pathetic. Look, it's one thing to say something in comedic sort of way. Yeah, like Stephen Colbert. Colbert. Colbert is funny. Right. Um, and you can disagree and be funny all you want. That's fine. Um, but when you, when you get down to real, true hate yeah. um, kind of speech, you know, you have a right to say it, but it is... Um, and the folks aren't watching it. I mean, MSNBC is ridiculous. I, 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 MSNBC is, is almost Pravda. Okay. Now, um, Pelosi, Air Pelosi, I, <laughs> yeah. I yeah, broke yeah, yeah. the story earlier yeah, yeah, and yeah. you picked up on it yeah what the i picked up on no, it. yeah i broke it you picked up that's too easy the way it goes i don't see how that <laughs> you are just you are number one for a reason that's right that's, I, I actually <laughs> he, told, he pointed out the last night of my show he pointed out Judicial he beats wise. me in in his rerun <laughs> you just want to point that out you asked my rerun you asked I you. you brought it up <laughs> i have to tell the truth Judicial Watch yes. broke the story. We yeah. ran with the story. Sure, you sure. picked up the story. Did yeah. you add anything more than what nope. I Nope. I just took just what you had. from what I, I added. Not, yeah, it, and that's why you're successful. My slogan, you have the spin stops here. Right. Mine is cut and paste. Okay, steal the spin stops that's here. Right. All right, but look, it's successful, man. It's that's working. Right. So you can steal yeah. anything that's you want. Right. That's right. Now, it, we'll all over the building the today, to uh, it was like Night of the Living Dead in the Fox News Channel today. There were people going, Beck Friday, Beck Friday. Friday. They were right. all over the place. Yeah. And some of them had a little camouflage and bazookas. Yeah. I thought bazookas were illegal. Yeah, no, no not here. Not, not here. Not, not, not a Beck a Friday. No, not a Beck Friday. So any kind Look, of weapon. You know, you, can somebody else have a day? It's Bill O'Reilly Day every day at Fox. Can somebody I, else have a day? You can have a day. Oh. I loved it. Beck Friday. What exactly was for the people who missed it? It was. You know, who are working. Okay. For people who are working. Okay. Nobody's working. It's the Obama administration. You don't have to work. Okay, okay here's the thing. 
Uh, what it was was, uh, uh, I, I have this crazy theory um, that we are rooted in principles and values. And that's where, that, that, we didn't need to be told how to act on 9-12, the day after 9-11. We didn't have, we just knew what was important. Why we're getting so screwed up now is because we're not rooted in those values and principles. When somebody says, should we save the banks? The answer is, well, yes, because wouldn't the economy stop if we did? Well, is that our principle? Our principle is the economy? Or is our principle something greater than that? Is it something bigger than that? We have to find out what our real true principles are and stick to them. So this was like a revival meeting then? No, this was, this was, this all stemmed from uh, my radio program. Somebody called in about six weeks ago and said, I can't do it anymore. I can't listen to it. I can't call Congress. They won't listen to me. They haven't listened to me for years. The president doesn't listen to me. The last president doesn't listen to me. I said, you're not alone. You are feeling like a lot of people are feeling right now. You're not alone. I'll prove it to you. Give me six weeks. I'll prove it to you. So now now, people all across the country were gathered in place. They, would, they, would, they came here to New York. No, they came. I, I met somebody from South Carolina today that was standing out in the cold, just wanted to be here today. There were people meeting in thousand people groups all across the country. It, on Beck it, Friday. It, let's meet up, uh, what is it? Uh, Meetup.com or whatever. I think it's meetup.com. People started going on meetup.com. Yeah. They called this week and said they haven't seen anything like this since, uh, since uh, Howard Dean started. It's a grassroots movement. People are hungry to unite together on All common right. thoughts. And, and, and listen, I think it's. I think what you're doing is uh, is excellent. And uh, congratulations for off to of the fastest start. I, I stole it from him. <clears throat> He's off to off to the fastest start. But look, you know who to steal from. <laughs> All right, it's not stealing from Alan Combs. In a moment.